please stop that. I asked you to stop. I heard. Then why don't you start acting your age and stop kicking rocks? Because I'm mad at you. What have I done to upset you? I'm being serious, Ari. So am I. It's because I beat you on that test, isn't it? You got lucky. I was still the first one done. Yes, you were. Good job. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, could you please stop kicking rocks and quiet down? Fine. What are you doing? It's so brilliant, yet you don't understand something as simple as please be quiet. Then tell me what you're doing. I'm taking pictures, if you must know. Don't be insulting. If you'd like to see what I was trying to take a picture of before you scared it, come over here. What am I looking for? Hush. Don't hurt it! Ari? It's so cute! <laughs> You're a cute little guy! What were you doing hiding in the bushes? You could take my picture? My apologies. I like to take pictures of cute things. Are you calling me cute? No, but the cat is. Ha ha. He's a stray. His mother was run over by a car two weeks ago, so I stopped by and take care of him. You do? I'm not some sort of supervillain, Ari, no matter what you think. I wasn't thinking that. But why? Because he's cute. And cuteness deserves to be preserved. Oh, I never expected you to... Do you like cats? Yeah, but Kachira always throws them out. He says we can't have animals where I live. That's quite sad. You seem to have a thing with animals. I like cute things too. I should get going. I need to study for the history game on Wednesday. Oh? You have to study? How pathetic. You might say so, but I've never lost once. I don't intend to start. I'm not going to lose to you, Ari. So you better study as well. I don't need to waste my time. Sure. Good night.
already know this, so I'm going to go take a walk. I'll be back for history. That's a waste of time. Have a good day. What is it today? You're interested. The silence is grating. So you fall back to the blurting random things out again plan, huh? Are you feeling all right? You're acting different than yesterday. I guess I'm just under the weather today. You look like someone ran over your kitten. I never thought that the heroic princess would show languor in front of her rival. W what did you call me? Rumor has it that you're our brave and brazen princess. Considering how timid you're acting, I can tell it was hyped up. Who told you that? A friend of mine named Kenta. I'm going to kill him the next time I see him. I told him not to breathe a word. So it's true? And this is the best show a member of the Imperial family can do? Are you mocking me? I am. I was expecting a real challenge from you. But the first time things don't go your way, you break down. What's going to happen tomorrow when I crush you in history? In your dreams? I'm starting to see why Kenta wants to go to college instead of stay a servant to you. He's not going anywhere. So you don't know your own servants as well? Contest, hands down! You think you can compete with me? Of course I can! I'll crush you! That's better. Huh? You're looking a lot more lively. I was worried. You want to get defeated that badly? Bring it! I'm going to win this! Then you better prepare, because I certainly will have. Hey, Ari! You backstabbing! How? How could you ignore everything I asked you and told him who I was? I trusted you, you jerk! What sort of servant does that? Jerk, jerk, jerk! Ari... Calling me my lady in public is one thing. But you told him! I did not mean to cause you pain, my lady. I was only doing what I thought was best.
what you thought was best? For who? You don't care at all! Please forgive me, my lady. Kenta... I beg your forgiveness, my lady. I'm sorry. I have betrayed your trust. There is nothing I can do to redeem myself, my lady. Ari. Huh? I told you to call me Ari. I really am sorry, Ari. I told him because he was asking about you. How'd he know? We've been friends for a long time. I told him stories about you and Ryu put it together. He's pretty smart, isn't he? Totally. He reminds me a lot of you. I've always wanted to introduce you to him, but your father would never permit a commoner on the grounds. This was a great chance. I've always wondered who would beat who in a matter of minds. Who do you think is going to win? That's easy. My money is on you, Ari. You better not prove me wrong. But don't forget, it's just a contest. Take it easy so I don't have to worry about you. I've got to get back to class. The other guys will start looking for me. See ya. Thanks, Kenta. No problem. Wait! Kenta, what is this about you leaving my service? Don't pay attention to him. See ya. Quiet down! I'm trying to study. I will, Miss Caller. Nobody else brave enough to try? So the smartest person to challenge him has to be stupid. That sort of a logical fallacy is why I should be the person to take the challenge. Of course. I'm ready. I've got a bet for you, Ari. Something to make this contest a little more interesting. What do you have in mind? Since you're so confident you're going to beat me, let's have a wager. If I win, you have to be my personal servant for one day and wear a maid outfit. If you win, I have to do the same. With a butler outfit.
You better know a good place that fits a tux. There's a maid outfit in the drama department that's just 